Hey guys, it's Rai Rai. And this is Razor right here for y'all. And we got some big news coming out for all you uh, fighting, you know, people like fighting games. It's big news, probably one of the biggest news to happen in Street Fighter 4. And you know what? Man, y'all know how I talk about fighters all the time and people are not into it. You know I'm going to get y'all into it. I'm going to be putting it in your brains. Y'all keep watching. Anyways, guys, the big news is Capcom finally, after one decade, Ten years next, for people who don't know. Ten years later, reveal their next sequel to Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Damn! And uh, there's a teaser trailer. We're going to show you that at the end of the video, so y'all stay tuned for that. And uh, looks sick. The game, the, well, the teaser trailer looks sick. Marvel's Catcom has always been sick. So, uh, but it looks like they're going to change the, the, route, the route of the graphics and shit, which I don't mind. You know, I, eh, I, I would like it to be updated, to tell you the truth. Maybe have a little bit more Street Fighter 4 kind of button layout than the traditional Marvel's Catcom layout, but that's just me. Uh, what do you think, Razor? Alright guys, to me guys, honestly, I got Marvel vs. Capcom 2 in here. Hold on, I'll, I'll even show it to y'all. Look at this. See? It's right there. I even have the full game in there. And you know, I used to have it for the Dreamcast, which is in my little cabinet in there, or stand, whatever you want to call it. And you know what? This, the whole uh, six button layout for Super uh, for the Street Fighter 4 and Super Street Fighter 4 should be added with the Marvel vs. Capcom uh, 3. Instead of using those, just those four buttons, you know. Uh, fast punch. Yeah, fast punch, strong punch, fast kick, and strong and strong kick. Yeah. And then what else they had? Uh, uh, L1 it, was for what? L1, switch characters. No, L1 was just uh. Well, those other buttons are just these two put together. Yeah. You know, it's just well, four buttons. You know, in the real fighter, there, there's, there's in total six buttons on the arcade stick and everything. But, but no, on the Marvel, on, on any games that's been. Right. There's been a uh, out for the two Marvel's Capcom and Marvel's uh, Capcom vs SNK was always just four buttons. But then about four button layouts and six button layouts, six buttons takes a lot longer to make because you have to you you're you're dealing with combos with six different buttons to do. Hey, not just four, which isn't which I would like. You know, it'd be a six button layout two D fighting game like Marvel's Capcom three would like. The, they say the roster is supposed to blow the fans away with how many characters you're gonna be. That's gonna be sick, you know what I'm saying? Especially if it's six, if it's a six button layout, a lot of shit to learn. That fighting it could last people like me or you know other fans three years, good two three years to master it, cause you know so many characters. But then again, guys, in order for them to get the six page uh, layout, a uh, six figure layout, like my brother says, like Rai Rai says about. How it took so long, it's gonna take so long to make. Hey, it's been 10 years since part two actually came out. So why not have the six uh, button layout? They've probably been trying to make it six buttons since part two ever came out. And you know, the graphics wise, it does need to be upgraded. And from the way the fighters are being made right now, is a Super Street Fighter 4, TVC, which is Tops Knuckle versus Capcom, Tekken 6, all 3D fighter, you know, um, and two and a half D, whatever y'all wanna call it, you know. The game that I'm really comparing it to that I think is going to make it is this right here. If y'all played this game, Tatsunoko vs. Capcom, which is the, which is pretty tight. It's badass. I like it. It's not bad. The, if you look at the end, of the, if you wait to the end of the clip and watch the trailer, you'll see that they'll use that same graphics engine as a... Um, they, well, they use the Street, the Street Fighter 4 engine for sure, but the way it looks... It's going to be like Tuck Knuckle versus Capcom, which is badass. The oh. pace, we don't know yet. Well, we don't really know what it's going to like for sure. That's I it. think that's what's called. Why do you think it has in the teaser video? But it's going to be on 360 and PS3, so they might go with more of a uh, Street Fighter 4 look, which is what I would like. You know, have everyone feeling bigger. Because on Marvel's Capcom 2, the character feel, I don't know. I just Tuck, Tuck like, Knuckle feels the same way. No, it doesn't. To me, it does. It just, the pace is different. It moves faster than Street Fighter 4. But it moves slower than Marvel vs. Capcom 2, which right. is what I like a lot. I mean, you, you get you get more time to actually think instead of as far as Marvel vs. Capcom 2, you feel like you're mashing buttons. You know, you like, you know, it's not it's not it's not all that. You know. And the gameplay, this is what Capcom says. It's not hard us. They said the gameplay is gonna be a mixture between Street Fighter 4 Ooh. and Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Ah. So. 
It could mean it might have the six button layout, which is what I hope. And like what I said, Tulsa Nuggle versus Capcom feels the same way. Well, Tulsa, it only has a three button layout. Yeah, I know. It's the worst out of all of them, even worse than Marvel's Capcom 2. Yeah, it has a three button layout, but I'm thinking, I'm talking about the pace. The pace feels in between. We're not talking about the pace. Uh, mean, what I mean, the hell are you talking game, about? The gameplay is like how the characters move and fight, which is what do deal with more of the layout, I think. So I hope it has a Street Fighter 4 layout, the Marvel's Capcom 2 pace, maybe a little bit slower, but that's that's what I'm hoping for. So we want to know, what are you guys hoping for? What do you, you write us some comments, us. What do you guys want to see in the next Marvel's Capcom 3? Which characters would you like to see? The final roster is supposed to have, the last one had like what, 64 characters? This one's probably going to have like... 128? Maybe, maybe 100, maybe 90. It's supposed to have more. So we don't know, I don't, we don't know how many more, but it's supposed to have more. Uh, what do y'all want to see? And, and, and the baddest thing that they, they, they brought up uh, on the teaser video was they brought up Chris from Resident Evil 5, which is a Capcom game. That means new Marvel characters are going to come in and play. So may, I've seen a lot of articles and comments saying that they want Deadpool to come in. Up, uh, 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 damn. I had them in my head too. Right, uh, Marvel characters that, that might uh, want to. Thor. They wanted Thor to come in Thor for sure. Silver Surfer. Yeah, they would be pretty sick. More X Men characters like, uh, like Jubilee. Uh, Jubilee. Wait, she's in this one. No, she's not. I thought she was. No, she's not. Hmm. Well, okay, Jubilee. I guess uh, some more Marvel Marvel characters. You know, have a. Uh, you know, be nice. More Spider Man characters also like. Uh, like Dr. Octopus, uh, Octo or whatever, Doc Ock. You know, just more random characters like that, but that would be fun. Uh, Dante from Devil May Cry would be pretty sick on there, which I'm pretty sure he's going to be. That's, that's Capcom, yes, it is. Okay. So, uh, we'll see. We'll see. All right, guys. And well, that, this is probably about it, about tomorrow's Capcom 3. I just want more of y'all. Uh, I want to know what y'all want to want. Who do y'all want in your characters? Ah, I can't speak right now, man. Who do y'all want in y'all characters list, your rosters list? How do you want it to be played? Where's the graphics y'all want it to look? You know, do y'all want it stay with 2D? Y'all want to go with 2.5D or you want to go with full 3D? They ain't going to be 3D. We know that. It ain't going to be 3D. I'm, I'm pretty sure. But y'all want it 2.5 or straight 2D? And here goes the roster list, if you can tell. They say, they say they're going to take out some. No, they didn't. Yeah, they did. So the final roster's supposed to blow us away. I'm pretty sure he's gonna have way more characters. So you think you might keep the same old characters? Like I, I think they're gonna keep everyone in here and add probably 30 of them. So they're gonna, so they're gonna leave the useless. Let's see. Nah, I don't know. Never mind. Everyone in the game's pretty good. There's no. All right, all right, guys. Well, that's about it for this video, man. And. uh Thank you for a ride. Thank you. Oh, that's it.